I have a new boss. Ugh. This is him on one of his better days. <laughs> When I first lay eyes on him, I walk into an office and he's got an office within the office, the door's closed, somebody's in there with him, there's a big glass pane. And I look in and here he is sat at his desk looking at a piece of paper. He's a gorilla a man. He's six foot two, a hundred plus kilos. He looks up from that piece of paper and he looks me in the eye. And I look back. What do I think? I've had some insensitive treatment before from management. What am I in for with this gorilla of a boss? Oh. And just to give you an example of his style, this is Paul Trinder. As constables, we walked a bit together in the city. By this time, he's a recruit instructor, and he thought that I might have some <coughs> lessons to offer his recruits. So he says to his boss, I might go ask Daryl and see if he's got anything to speak to my recruits about. And he said, oh, don't ask Daryl, go see his manager. So Paul comes and see my frontline manager and makes the, the request. And what does she say? You, you want to speak to Daryl about the shooting? Um, we, we don't get to speak about the shooting. It's kind of a bit. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, oh, oh, I know, I know. Let's go ask the inspector. Let's go ask the gorilla. Now, he's a very, very busy man. So he has time for one sentence. And what does he say? Why don't we empower Daryl? Ask the man. It turns out that gorilla of a man, Inspector David Andrew Stevenson, has the finest interpersonal and leadership skills of anyone I've ever met. When I speak on leadership, I speak about 